So you enjoy my family. Um, we joined Westover in 1996. We became mm -hmm. uh, members. And for me, it's been really so great to see more faces of color mm -hmm. coming into our congregation. Um, I think you, you guys started coming in 2012. Great. So what, what prompted you to come? I mean, I'm sure the Holy Spirit, but what led you right. to Westover? Well, um, growing up in predominantly black church, you know, uh, I got to a point where I felt that our growth as a family, me, my wife, the children, our growth had stagnated, uh, our Christian, Christian growth. Right. Uh, and um, I prayed about it and, you know, like you said, the Holy Spirit let me know that, you know, a lot of my Christianity was actually filtered through not scripture, not the Bible, not Christ, but through my culture experiences. And that right there is, is what prompted me to move, to do something different, to look for something different. Intentionally look for something. Right, right. And I figure if I go to a place where things are not familiar culturally, where people look different, yeah. I think that's the easiest way yeah. to, to, try to, um, to, to try to go into that new thing and, and, and grow further in Christ. Right. But I tell you, when we got there to Westover, I had to wonder myself, you know, you, you've been a pastor, what's your motivation? How do you look at it? You know, yeah. when you start seeing the faces of color yeah. come in. I know. mean, it really excites me. I think it, it reflects very much what God's up to in the world. You know, we see in Revelation this vision of the new heaven and new earth, mm -hmm. you know, where every tribe, every nation, every tongue will be worshiping the Lamb of God, you know, and that's going to be our future into eternity. Um, and I heard Pastor Don once say, gosh, if that's our future, then let's start practicing it now. Yeah. You know, let's let's begin to practice what that looks like. Yes. And that excites me. And it also excites me in that you bring things in from your cultural experience. Now, culture can be good yeah. and culture can be bad, but God is, work through cultures yes. and diversity to express more of who he is. Yes. And so you have things to share that I need, mm -hmm. you know, to help me more to grow into the likeness of Christ. Mm -hmm. And I hope I have things to share from my cultural experience that yes. will help you grow more into the likeness of Christ. Yes. You know, so I'm wondering you know, as you guys have come to Westover and you've engaged in building relationships across racial lines, yeah. what has been the most challenging and the most encouraging thing as you've engaged in Christ-centered racial reconciliation? Um, the, the most challenging thing has come from within, you know, r removing those scales of culture and, and political the, the filters. Uh, running the scripture through those. That's been a challenge because it's what you're used to. It's who you are basically with culture. Jesus set the example. He went to different cultures. He went to different events with different cultures. And he got, he got the dirty looks oh, yeah. from his people. Yeah. He, um, he went to the weddings. He, you know, he, would, uh, he talked a lot about Samaritans too. Like, Samaritans. He would like lift them yeah. up as examples right. of, this, of this is how you should live. Right. And even his disciples gave him, you know, sideways looks like, why are you hanging with that person? Or why are you dealing with that woman? Yeah. So Jesus set the example on, you know, breaking the mold of, of racism um, and, and, and the stain that can, you know, place on our walk with Christ and in our hearts actually. Get around some people that look different than you. Yeah. And, and don't shun away from, you know, those invites from people that look different. And, and, and sometimes press in, because when you can do that, you know, you, you'll get into differences, you right. know, different cultures, different likes and dislikes and different experiences. Yeah. You know, yeah. start on the surface, you know. Yeah. He looks different. She looks different. They look different. Yeah. Hang out with them. Yeah. But yet we're united in our, under the Lordship of Christ, yes. where we um, just don't say we're a body of different colors, mm -hmm. but yet we are uh, learning from each other, all for the purpose to reflect His glory. 
so others in the world will say, gosh, there's something different about this church. Mm -hmm. And the difference is it's Christ. You know, that Christ has gone before us, mm -hmm. um, justifies us to the Father, mm -hmm. and then causes us to reconcile with one another. And that's a beautiful thing, I think.